George Martin with the carry. Murumuravalu wants to get involved, but Jack Van Portfleet has seen a gap, and he has scored for Leicester. What a score from Jack Van Portfleet. JVP take a bow. Saw him do this for the England under-20s against Wales last year. He's already shown signs in this game. Great vision from the scrum half. Yeah. There's a big dummy Thank sold you, to man. Matt Simmons, who was at the pillar. Harry Wells rises imperiously to collect that one, and it's smuggled back to Charlie Clare. Kirsten holds Clare in there. It will be once. Clean through, that's legal. And Portly legal. wants the ball. Dummies and cuts back inside and goes over. And the Tigers have a second try before the interval. Scrum half showing a bit of sharpness around the, around the ruck there and, and Exeter not really defending the ball. Lovely dummy and sliding through simply. Also we've got Thomas Lavanini as a second row replacement. Backwards. Flicked back by Kelly, Leicester can still try to build inside Wasps 22 and Van Portfleet has a look at going on his own and he manages to find Montoya and the Puma Julian Montoya scores Leicester's latest and it may well it will give them a passport to the Champions Cup next season. Yeah, Van Poorfleet there, a few boos just about whether that was a knock-on or not, but Van Poorfleet gets through that gap, knocks off Kieran Brooks, and the two Leicester players overran in support, but Montoya, as we were just saying, reads the game well, he comes from depth, and Van Poorfleet keeps alive, doesn't die with it, despite those two support players having overrun him. And Leicester have possession. Okay, from Port Fleet from the base. That's a cracking kick. Great distance on that. That's one ball. Very one little ball. Tom Litchfield could do. What a kick. Well, he's touched it as well, and he's getting a bit of a lesson, unfortunately, in what it's like at the very top. There we go. What's the question? Putting together some of his very best work, isn't he? Yeah. Hold! Hegarty with a, a slightly scruffy kick. Skosand feeds Hutchinson. Charge down. Great chase that was from Van Portfleet. Van Portfleet to finish this. And that almost certainly ends the debate. An age old squabble settled by a young scrum half. Full of hunger, full of desire, and full of energy. Great work from the Tigers, it's a scruffy kick in initially, and look at Northampton, they've got plenty of time to deal with it, but Hutchinson wanted to get round onto that right boot, and he took an age to get that kick away, but credit Van Poorfleet, look, he's almost running to the... He's <laughs> right in front of him when he kicks it. ...charging line, I mean, if ever there was a moment just to dummy him there. It's a great chase, isn't it? I thought Hegarty did incredibly well because the pass wasn't good to him. He reacted and still got the ball away. A lot of players could have got caught in the backfield there, but he didn't. Lovely little chip from Matavesi, taken in by Dingwall. Got beyond halfway. No, Lamani fires it out to Grayson. Oh. And the intercept picked off by Van Portfleet. On a plate, and there's your 50. And that will That's sting. Funny. The half century raised, the ambition was to be applauded, but the approach from Van Portfleet was timed to perfection. Yeah, what I like about this player is a lot of scrum halves play behind the line, they like to play in the backfield, he doesn't. He likes to play in the front line. This kick from Matavesi is world class. It's a brilliant chip for a hooker. And as they go through, they recycle, they've got loads of numbers. Grayson just tries to find the channel out wide, but he reads it really well, just steps forward and takes the ball. Good, a lot of people would try and cover the space there, but you're better off playing on the line, and that's exactly what he did. Reads the pass, steps forward. Thank you very much. 53 points. And the scrum goes down, and Leicester with another penalty. 
and they run it this time. Van Portfleet to Burns. In the corner where he used to leap over the fence to get in for free. Three on one on the outside in the end because two players stayed for Nandolo five metres out. Twentieth phase of possession. Simmons. Slade is caught. And he's grounding the ball, carried back over the line. And that is it. The Tigers digging in for all they're worth defensively and coming out on top. Leicester playing. Heads up rugby. Burns, ball over the top, banana kick. Ashton has read it beautifully. Neat bit of interplay by Burns and Ashton. They're in behind them, space for Van Portfleet, almost to the line. Gloucester just about closed the door in time. Leicester is still there, though. Right in the shadow of the post. They go up the middle once more. Outstretched arm from the referee in the favour of the home side. Looks like they're over. Did they get it down? Yes is the answer. And it is Van Portfleet who comes up with the goods. Jack Van Portfleet is all smiles.